So the 16mm f2.8 can focus very near, even in video. So you can get very close to your subject if you're doing some nature videos. It goes great. Hi everyone, Richard here. Look what I have. I've just got hold of these two beautiful lens from Canon and this is the RF 16mm and this is the RF 100 to 400mm so we'll do some quick unboxing and uh, have a look at see the both the sizes so we'll put this away first let's just unbox the RF 16mm f 2.8 STM lens so this one does not have image stabilization and uh, it's only f2.8 so it's not 1.8 like the other uh, 50 mm it's very very small let's put that there's nothing in the box except some manual and warranty card so let's put that away so this is 16 mm f2.8 uh, which is very very small that's how small it is All right look at the lens size so this is uh, the same size with the 50mm f1.8 and then let's put it on the body of the R5 and that's how it looks like so it's very very small and uh, it's very light as well and what we have here is the focus control Focus is autofocus there and then control you can do a uh, setting for this to control maybe your aperture Okay, so this is f2.8 is the brightest uh, lens at 16mm So I really appreciate that they made this size uh, Which is great because uh, it's easy for vlogging you can vlog with it as well as you can take uh, street photography as well as a landscape with this and it's uh, light enough to travel with and very compact size so let's unbox the 100 to 400 mm this rf 100 400 mm f 5.6 to 8 f8 is usm so this is a usm whereas this is sdm and uh and this one has is so this is the same lens let's open it up with the warranty cards put it aside let's take it out and there's nothing there it's one the cards but i'm amazed at this size they really did a good job with this and uh compared to the rf 800 mm i have this one is really much smaller and look at the size that is look at the size this is the 100 to 400 mm then when it zooms that goes up that way that's how long it is right when it zooms to 400 but what's interesting is let's compare this with the this is the rf 100 mm and that's the size so when it's packed down you can see it's the 100 mm to 400 is the same almost a bit taller than the rf 100 the way is about the same the only difference is this one is a zoom lens which can go up to that and that's the distance so <laughs> it's really good uh, if you want to travel with this and uh, it's the size of the RF100 and weighs about the same so that's interesting Canon did a good job on this and uh, let's look at this and uh, mount it to the body so let's mount this to the body and take out the lens so that's the lens and this is how it looks like in full zoom right so this one comes with autofocus manual and then there's the is stabilization on and off so it's very simple lens i like the grip and it's very well balanced on the R5 so this is a good uh, size that we can and it's with IS so I'm very impressed that they managed to put the IS in such a 
this uh, telefocal gun, this zoom gun, and uh, what I can do is afterwards I'll take this out to do test shot, and then as well as the 16mm which I have here, which I'm going to do a vlogging test on this. But before I do that, comparing this, this is the previous lens that I was using. It is a 20mm EF lens, right? So that is key compare the size, right? This is the extender to use the EF to RF mount. So you can see. So now I'm going to use just the RF, and that's the difference that I'm saving. Look at that, if I'm going by the mount, right? So, and I'll have uh, photos between this and this, you can see. This one, uh, there's much, not much uh, distortion in terms of the corner distortion and uh, barrel distortion. Uh, it's a very nice lens, that's the 20mm EF version, f2.8 as well. And this I'll compare it with the 16mm uh, f2.8. So I would expect uh, more distortion on this in terms of architecture building lines. Uh, whereas this one has been great on architecture, the, the distortion is very low. Okay, so now I'm testing it with the IBIS body in body stabilization plus enhanced uh, stabilization, uh, digital enhanced stabilization. This is how it looks like, and I have it on the eye tracking. You can see the box on my eye. And uh, currently, I'm shooting at 160th at f2.8. Uh, that is the best I can go in the, the, this bright, it's quite bright here. Uh, I just want to see how defocused the back is. And uh, you can see whether the stabilization is good or not with this as I go through the dark areas. Let's have a look when it's in the dark areas. So the auto ISO is on, so we should be able to see again. And this is with the enhanced uh, digital stabilization. I'll switch to just normal stabilization and have a look. Okay, I just changed over to just IBIS and normal di digital stabilization. So you can see the field of view is a bit wider than the enhanced version. So the enhanced stabilization is a bit more cropped in. Uh, you can see the stabilization on this. How does it look like when I walk? And then after this, I'm going to switch it back to just the IBIS, just the body. And uh, you can have a look and see how does that look like in terms of the stabilization. Okay, now I'm just on the IBIS. There's no digital stabilization. This is basically on just the lens as well as the IBIS, there's, so no, there's no IS on the lens so you're looking at just the body stabilization and the field of view and see it's wide, wider now and I can see more space behind and as we walk through the corridor and get the lighting so this f2.8 you can roughly see how much blur you can have in the background and if you go into the dark area that's how it looks like and coming back to the table, that's how this uh, 16mm looks like in terms of field of view. And uh, we shall go outdoor and maybe take some photos and videos from this uh, lens. As well as we will try out the 100 to 400 uh, tele zoom lens. So let's see how much uh, distortion we have because I'm shooting in JPEG so you won't probably see much the correction lens correction there so let's do one in raw and see what is the actual crop and distortion like and that's how it looks like so if you look at the distortion most likely the edge will have a lot of vignettes Right now we're gonna shoot the uh, sky. Let's do this uh, white autofocus scene. So that's how it looks like on f 2.8, and that's well, that's a bird there. Beautiful day. 
uh, it's raining actually on the other side of the building so this side is not raining and that's how it looks like in f2.8 let's bring it down even more because a bit near the sky and you can see how much uh, whether it's distorted or not and this with the sky maybe it's not that good yep that looks good better so it's very white 16 mm and uh, beautiful day and beautiful sky So let's do some video and see how it looks like on the video. Okay, I think you can see the distortion when you turn. Right, that goes. And then that's how it looks like on the video. My hand is shaking. I'm not using a tripod on this, okay? I'm just, it's just handheld. Let's, let's, let's do a video on this and try to get it uh, stable. Let's try to get it stable in the video. Uh, I'm going to use two hands and you can see the distortion when it hangs. That's what you get with the 16mm. So now I switch over to the 100 to 400 mm f5.6 to f8 uh, is uh, USM. So let's have a look at some photos from this uh, beautiful lens. It's very light, I can hold it with one hand. And uh, we'll try to get some buildings out there and uh, have a look at the photos and I'll uh, try to get some videos as well. So it's a bit raining, but uh, that's why I'm indoors, I'm doing this to avoid the rain because again, both these new RF lens are not weather sealed. So you, you have to be careful because they are not, oh there's a bird coming there. Okay, <laughs> so they're not weather sealed so you really have to be careful with this, uh, even though your body is, uh, but the lens are not raining and it's got haze so let's focus on the KL tower and have a look at that so it's gonna do HDR so that's the distance of 400mm you can see on the photo let's have a look at that and this looks like that on the photo yeah so we shall switch to video and you can see the zoom in for the video as well. So now we are at 100mm and then I'm going to zoom in to 400mm and we can see what's the difference like. So it's very tight the zoom because it's new lens and so you're not going to get a good uh, smooth zoom if you're doing video. So that's how it looks like on the KL Tower. And uh, that's 400mm. And let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to 100mm. So let's bring it back to 100mm. Since we're ready, let's do a pan on 100mm. That's how it looks like. Then let's do a pan. It's a pretty fast pan, I'm not doing it slowly, so huh? It's like, okay, you can see it's dark sky, then it's raining.
So this at the 100 mm and panning. Well, let's see what 400 mm and panning looks like. So let's do a 400 mm and pan and see how it looks like. So again, this is with the IS on on the lens, and this is at 400 mm panning. Right. So there we have it. Oh, it's raining, so you're not gonna get much color. It's very, very, very hazy now. Right, so that is at 400 mm. Let's pull it back to 100. So let's do again the 100 mm panning and then have a look at that. So interestingly, this is a very very small uh, camera. Let's quick look at the 100-400mm to RF uh, f5.6 to f8. So you can see when I zoom out to 400mm, it's at f8, so it's a bit darker. And the contrast is a bit lower, also because I'm so far away from the object. So it does uh, drop in... Uh, I would say the brightness, but uh, F8, actually today is not a good day, um, I'll take this out for birding to take photos of birds and animals uh, on another video and you can see that this can be used for that. Uh, on a bright sunny day is not a problem. So it's a bit very dark overcast now, it's raining, so at least uh, we can try this out and see how it looks like. So there you have it, uh, here's a quick look at the RF 100-400, to F5.6 to F8 ISUSM uh, tele-zoom lens and then this is the 16mm F2.8 SDM lens which doesn't have IS and uh, if you like the video, uh, do give me a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe for the, my next video. So thanks everyone, have a nice day, bye.